What ho, prospective vault hunters! Sir Hammerlock! At your service. I hear you're considering an excursion to the Borderlands. Well, let me be the first to warn you that Pandora has changed. This world is not what it once was. You may have memories of sand and dirt, the occasional rock. But now, there are all sorts of new places to discover. The glossy, fascist beauty of the City of Opportunity, the dangerous lushness of the highlands, the dangerous and, to be quite honest, rather pungent caustic caverns. You think you know the borderlands? You've seen nothing yet. Oh, and also... You will probably be killed in one of a thousand horrifying ways. You see, the Borderlands have been taken over by a nefarious so-and-so called Handsome Jack. And only you can stop him. Because you are a badass, you see. Of course, what variety of badass is up to you? There are four classes to choose from, each with their own unique strengths, as well as numerous heads and skins if you wish to visually customize your character. But anyway, let's talk violence. Maya, the Siren, can use her Phase Lock ability to control the battlefield, imprisoning enemies, healing her allies, and dealing an awful lot of elemental damage. See those bandits? Notice how they aren't on fire? Maya shall fix that. The Commando Axton uses his Saber turret to attract the hatred of his enemies and deal a great deal of damage. He can also attach a nuclear bomb to his turret causing a hilariously large explosion every time he deploys it. Which is fun. If you're interested in sniping or stabbing people through the chest with a bloody large katana, then perhaps Zero the Assassin might be more your speed. At higher levels, Zero can move through the battlefields like the wind, slaying enemies left and right. Salvador, the Gunzerker, can go into a sort of rage mode where he gains massive damage resistance and can do wield any two weapons in the game. Oh, speaking of weapons, Borderlands 2 has rather a lot of them. Over 87 bazillion, as it were. All of which you can trade with your friends or store in your own personal bank. You see, all of the loot in the Borderlands, guns, shields, grenades, and the like, are randomly generated, so no two pieces of gear are the same. Perhaps you'll find a minigun that shoots explosive rounds, or a submachine gun that covers your enemies in acid, or a pistol that explodes like a grenade when you reload it. While I'm at it, I should mention grenades. Out in the Borderlands, grenades are just as varied as the guns, really. There's bazillions of them, and they can create black holes or spray fire everywhere, or... Well, I'll give you an example. Have you ever thrown a grenade that homes in on its target, sticks to them, then explodes into five separate grenades that cover everything around them in acid? Because in the Borderlands, you certainly can. And you'll almost certainly need to use such devices, for you see, the lovely locales of the Borderlands are filled with hundreds of new and dangerous foes that will rip you to pieces in an instant. Bandits, creatures, robots, even deadly plant life. There's no end to the number of things on this planet that wish for your untimely death. Take the wormhole thresher. Spiky fellow, more than a little dangerous. He can attack you with his tentacles, dive underground to hide from your gunfire, and lob spikes at you from a distance. And if that weren't bad enough, he can also create a singularity around his body, pulling you into close range so he can skew you on his retractable spikes. And he's only one of the many, many opponents you'll face off against. Don't even get me started on the nomad torturers, the war loaders, the badass Varkis. <laughs> Gives me the willies just thinking about them. Fortunately for you, brave adventurer, as you progress through your mission, you'll gain new skills. Powerful relics and badass points, which will allow you to reach all new levels of badassness. Relics can improve any aspect of your character, from health to fire rate to vehicle speed, while class mods can improve certain skills far beyond their maximum limit. For instance, take a gander at Zero's backstab skill which increases all melee damage done against enemies who aren't facing you. 
At its highest level, Backstab gives Zero an additional 40% damage. But should you get a class mod that puts an additional four points into Backstab, then... <laughs> Booyah! Plus 72% Backstab damage. As you use these skills to destroy enemies and complete quests, you'll earn money, gear, and experience, all of which can be used to improve your character's skills, of which there are a great, great many. By buying the right skills, you'll be able to cut through your enemies like a hot knife through a psycho, you badass, you. Oh, and speaking of badassitude, Borderlands 2 has a new system known as Badass Rank. By completing the dozens of varied challenges in the game, you can increase your badass rank and purchase stat bonuses that apply to all of your different characters. And did I mention that badass ranks are unlimited? Because they are. To that end, Borderlands 2 supports parties of up to four players. Two players can also play split-screen on the same monitor and then take that split-screen game online. <laughs> Friendship and cooperation, ho! Oh, the time has come, badass. Handsome Jack's army threaten to burn Pandora to the ground, and only you can stop him. Grab your gun, bring your friends, and set some psycho midgets on fire. This is Sir Hammerlock telling you, the Borderlands are waiting.